Hi, I'm Rob's mom from Texas. Welcome to Rob Motive. Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Hey, before we get... Check it out. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, today, I wanted to talk about lifts, particularly the lift and the wheels and tires on the Tacoma back here. You know, there's a lot of videos, a lot of questions uh, that come on those videos uh, and forums and stuff that I see, people asking about lifts and tires and wheels all the time. And I was the same way and I found, I found it to be rather confusing because my biggest concern in doing a, a lift in the wheels and the tires was that I didn't have any issues, you know? I didn't want to do uh, a lift and change all that stuff out and have problems when I was done, like rubbing. Um, I definitely didn't get, didn't want rubbing, um, and I got it. So I'm going to tell you guys uh, my experience, let you know what to look for, um, at least from what I what I did uh, when you're considering and ultimately doing a lift in new wheels and tires uh, on your Tacoma. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the rear, the rear area, and the rear is pretty simple because the tire only goes. Um, frontwards and backwards, right? It doesn't turn, in other words. So you don't have to worry, really, about anything in here rubbing um, unless you go with something crazy, like a gigantic tire that for some reason is going to hit the front and hit the rear. I can't see that happening, but hey, stranger things, right? I mean, the body is going to move up and down, if you will, on the suspension. So if you put something in here that was really close and the body you know, moves up and down, the suspension goes up and down. It's possible that you could rub in the front and the back if you had something really, really crazy. Um, and it's easy to tell when you do that. If you get your new wheels and tires and you've decided to do something nuts, you can roll them out and sit them right in front of the existing ones and see the distance between the front and the back. So that shouldn't really be any issue. The back of the truck is pretty simple. Now, let's move up here to the front, and this is where I had my trouble. Um, when I first did the lift, you know, I drove away and everything was fine. But in driving away, you don't have real world conditions, right? I mean, the parking lot was pretty level. There weren't a lot of ruts and potholes or anything like that in it. So the truck didn't have to move up and down. I didn't have to make any severe turns so that I was turning the wheel, you know, really sharply or anything like that. But a few days after I got it home and I was backing out of my driveway here, which I have to take a real severe turn to do, I had to crank the wheel. And when I cranked the wheel, I felt or heard something, kind of like a, a bit of a squeaking or a squealing, if you will. And what I was experiencing was the tire rubbing on the UCA here. And a little bit of background, before I went with the current setup that I have, I had these tires on the truck and these are two let's see these are 295 55 r20s you guys can see right there and they were on the wheels that i have on the truck right now so it wasn't the same wheel but you can see that is a pretty wide tire i mean look at my hand on that tire and you can kind of see a little bit how wide that is as compared to what I have on the truck right now. And there's my hand. You guys can see the difference there. So quite a bit, uh, quite a bit wider before. And what I have on the truck right now, these are 275 60 R20s. And the problem that I was experiencing, when I would turn the wheel, I would rub the UCA here, either up here in the front, uh, because the wheel would of course turn that way, or in the back, right along here, uh, when I would turn severely the other way. And that's because there wasn't enough room in between the tire and the UCA that you see here. Uh, much better now, before I could fit uh, one finger down there like that, 
and it was actually hitting the RCA. So you can see, or the uh, UCA, I should say, the upper control arm, which is this piece here. Um, and it would hit. And it was even worse if I was turning the tire, not even quite as severely, but I would take a bump. And the tire, you know, the wheel, I say the tire, but the, the tire on the wheel would of course move and it would hit this UCA. And that was a drag, and it was one of my biggest fears in doing the lift, was creating a rubbing problem. Now, there's also a color, couple other issues you can have. You can rub up here in the front, if you get a tire that's really, really big, um, up here in the wheel well, back in the back in the wheel well, and also up against the edge here. I mean, you can see there's not a ton of room as it is, but plenty for my setup. So you have to be aware of that uh, when you go in. And I don't think, unless you change out the R or the UCA that's there right now, that you can go much bigger than a 275-60 R20 uh, without either, and there's two things that you can do. One, you can change out the UCA. There are UCAs available that are a little bit narrower or slimmer profile. In other words, the knuckle here doesn't protrude out quite as far, which gives you more clearance then between the UCA and the tire. Uh, there's many different brands out there you can choose from, but that would alleviate the problem uh, if you were indeed gonna go with a tire that could cause that kind of an issue. Now, the other thing you can do, of course, is you can put spacers on to move that tire out, and the whole idea is to move the tire and the wheel out away from the truck. And that, of course, is going to give you a much better look as well. You're going to poke out a little bit further uh, further than I do right now. You guys can see looking down the uh, side of the truck that I do poke out a little ways from the, uh, the fender, which is what I want. Um, I poked out even further when I had these tires on that are currently on the Jeep. And let's take a look at the Jeep and I'll show you exactly what I mean because you can really see it here. I mean, look how far out these tires are. Uh, poke out away from the Jeep. I had just about that, not quite as severe, when they were on the, the Tacoma back here. So, you need to be aware of that. Those are two things that you can do to alleviate that. There's a lot of controversy out there, though, I think, uh, when it comes to spacers. You know, they wear out other parts. You shouldn't use them. If you do use them, you need to make sure you use um, a brand that is... Uh, good quality and it's not going to break or cause you to have other issues. They say it, they can wear out the, uh, I think the wheel bearings quicker if you have spacers on. I'm not really sure. So those are two things um, that you really need to make sure that you're aware of. A couple other things, you know, lifts are not cheap unless you're doing it yourself. You get to pay labor, you get to pay for the parts and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you do a little bit of research before you decide on the height. Um, you know, nothing would be worse than having a lift done, assuming you don't have any of these other problems, and you get it home and it's too low. Um, I don't think they can ever be too high, you know, Not unless you go crazy, but, and they're too low. In other words, you put it on, you get it home, you see it, and you're like, yeah, you know, that's not really what I wanted. I should have gone a little bit higher. And my recommendation would be, if you're looking to do a lift, you probably should choose something that is. Uh, a bit higher than maybe what you were thinking. I'm not talking about tons, maybe an inch, maybe a half an inch, but always better to go a little bit higher because again, I don't think you can ever go too high unless you're doing something really crazy. Um, with the wheels and tires, uh, again, make sure, uh, unless it doesn't bother you that you're gonna have rubbing and bumping and grinding and all that kind of stuff, that you put something on that's gonna fit. Ideally, you'd be in a shop somewhere where they'd have a mounted wheel and tire, something similar to what you're going to look at, um, and you can go ahead and slap it on and check for yourself. Now, one thing I'll, one, one piece of advice I'll leave you with, no matter what anybody tells you, because when you go out there and you ask, what's the biggest tire that you can put on without rubbing, people always give you bad information. I, I don't know how many times I've seen people recommend something that is completely wrong. I don't know if they just don't know, if they don't care, if maybe they're in that boat themselves and they want some company. I don't know. 
but you can't go with anything, in my opinion, bigger than a 275-60R20 um, on the Tacoma, unless you're gonna do something with the offset. In other words, how far it's gonna poke out away from the truck. And mine has a little bit. You know, it's, it's really, it's not substantial, but it's definitely out far enough so that I don't have that issue. So beware when you do that. Um, take that information you get out there with a little, little grain of salt because it costs a lot of money. Fortunately for me, the wife's Jeep back here on the other side, right here, was able to handle this, uh, this wheel and tire setup that she chose with no issue. So we were gonna change out the wheels and tires anyway, and she liked what I had. So we were able to take those tires that didn't fit on the Tacoma back here and put them on the Jeep. And I was gonna get something new anyway. So it didn't cost us any more than it would have. But if you're not lucky enough to be in that situation, you're gonna spend more money because nobody is gonna take back at least at full price, tires that you've driven around on. Anyway, just want to get on here, maybe help somebody out who's, uh, who's looking to do a lift on their Tacoma, give you a little bit of advice from my own experience. I've done this. Um, again, I made the mistake of going with uh, the wrong tire wheel combo, really the tire combo, for what I could fit given the, uh, the lift and the scenario that I had. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.